going to say, AD, I don't know if this is a sensitive subject, but can you talk about how you felt when you found out your son had autism and how you dealt with it? I think it's something not talked about in our community. Much love from Dago. Um, that was a hard pill to swallow because I didn't want to believe it at first. And my son was having signs. Um, I got, um, well, one of my best friends, his son, OT Genesis, his son has autism too. So I would ask him things, you know, my son was doing to see like, yeah, it was, it was, it was hard to, um, it was hard to like, to, you know, to, um, to learn that. Cause my son started doing things like I, I noticed he started spinning in circles for no reason at a time and stuff. So that started happening. And then he would like flap his hands and, and you know, I was Googling this shit and they were saying those are signs of autism and stuff too. But, um, uh, yeah, man, um, I've heard that early prevention is best. So instead of sitting there being upset or mad at the world, I decided to do something about it. You know what I mean? And um, shout out to his mom. You know, she she do amazing job when it comes down to that. Um, yeah, it's all type of stuff. My son goes to therapy every day. He's getting real better too. You know what I'm saying? Just just watching him point at things now and, you know what I mean, being able to respond to his name. And hopefully this year he starts talking. So, yeah. Oh, that's, that's not Shout that's not Stro, Stro. it's not it's not hard for me though because I, I you know I'm, I'm a real advocate you know what i'm saying like i love my son um he gonna be all right crazy gifted though real shit yeah. crazy gifted oh no they say autistic kids are the uh bro the beyond. smartest in the world Impressive for real for real. Right, son. hey bro you know i just learned what? this is it fucked me up but you know how like growing up back in the day in the ghetto it was the kids that walked on their tippy toes mm -hmm. but they said that's Kids with autism. Yeah. But we didn't know that. We didn't know that. Yeah. For sure. Didn't know that. yeah, we didn't mm -hmm. know that back in the day. But that shit was crazy when I learned that shit. I was like, damn, because I used to know a gang of like kids at school that used to walk on their tippy toes. Yeah. And it was like that was autism. But we didn't fuck it. It's some it. spectrum. Yeah. It's not like you know what you know. Yeah, what, there's different yeah, there's, yeah. There's, there's You know what kind of fucked me up? And I was like, I was contemplating. Like, I was reading that, like, you know, the vaccines and stuff was like, you know, when kids are born, was giving it to them. So I was kind of confused. And then I'm like, ah, oh, ain't no science that's saying that. But I'm seeing, um, remember T.I. came out with that documentary? He had like that video and he was talking about the vaccines and stuff like that. Mm -mm, I don't know. Nah, I saw that. I yeah, it was, yeah, T.I. was pushing that shit too. But T.I.'s son, one of his sons got autism or something? Nah, it was, it was literally like a, um, damn, let me see if I can find that shit. But I was really like into that, like, oh, the vaccines maybe did that. And I was kind of like, damn, did I, did I do something wrong by letting my son get the vaccines and shit like that too? So, yeah, it was, it was. It was it was fucked up though. It was oh, fucked okay. up. Fucked up, son. I didn't know Ti mm. came out with something like that. He was pushing it. Um, let me see something about the vaccines. Yeah, about the vaccines. Okay. Uh, That's crazy. Nah, so, bro, some autistic kids, bro. This is one kid I knew, Jamal. You could ask him what day was. The 14th of March, 1957. He'll tell you exactly. Oh, yeah. Like, he'll be yeah, like, yeah. oh, this was a Tuesday. It was raining. I was like, what the fuck? Well, that's like OT Sun is so fucking smart. Ridiculous. Super smart. fucking smart. And if you know about autistic kids, like, they process things differently. Mm -hmm. They see and the world a, differently. And it's another crazy. thing, too, I started seeing my, when I knew my son was, he started lining up a lot of stuff. So it could be like remotes. He would like line them up. Mm -hmm. Like, it had to be perfect. You know what I'm saying? He would yeah. do stuff like that. So even now, like when he stems and stuff, it it doesn't happen as much. But therapy really, really, really helps. Yeah, it really do. He do it all day, every day. It went from him not responding to his name till now. Like I could be like, "What do you want?" So he can't talk, but he can bring me to it, and I make him point to it. But his memory is so fucking perfect, though. Yeah. Oh yeah. You I, already know with the, snacks and stuff like cereal. that. I can move snacks around. I can do certain stuff. He's skinny as hell too, and I can show him. But his mind is like he—he's on it. So yeah, hopefully this year he talks. That's what I'm—that's what I'm hoping and praying for. Yeah. If yeah. not, and it made me feel good too because I just seen this guy became the first professor um, at a university that was autistic, and I think he didn't talk until he was 11. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So mm. yeah, man, I'll be happy when my son like yeah. starts talking fully. And if he never does, then hey, it is what it is. We learn. We. we I already know a little Learning bit of sign language. Yeah. You know what I mean? So. Mm -hmm. Solid. Yeah, that was a hard pill to swallow, though. All right, Champy. 
Church be talking so broadly so they can apply to someone in that bitch. Keep doing y'all thing in Frisco. I mean, from Frisco. Appreciate it. Shout out to Frisco. Shout out to the city. EUC vibes. Ace Boy Pond is one of the last real men we have. Most of y'all will lay face down, ass up on business. Thanks for being yourself, big homie. Jesus All Christ. love, my brother. All love. Mm -hmm. Tough.